All right, welcome back to another episode of Dave Makes Food. Today I've got a very special recipe because I've been wanting to try this out for quite some time. Today we'll be combining my favorite Chinese Canadian stir fry flavor with chicken wings. As you can see, chicken wings were on sale at a decent price for the first time since I began posting videos regularly about five months ago. These also came with the wing tip on, which I prefer, so it was a great day all around. Go ahead and season them with salt, garlic powder, and pepper. Bake at 425 Fahrenheit or 220 Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes until they start to crisp up. Rotate them every 10 minutes. While the wings are cooking, we can go ahead and small dice some garlic, ginger, and some green onion. Don't mince them too finely as we want the pieces to be identifiable in the final product. This was 4 cloves of garlic, about the same amount of ginger, and 1 green onion. This was good for about 2 pounds of wings. Bias cut the green parts for garnish. Alright, cooking time. Add 2 tablespoons of oil to a non-stick pan over medium heat, and then add in all of the garlic, ginger, and green onion bottoms. We're going to slowly fry them until the edges start to brown. This is going to add a ton of fragrance to our chicken wings. Once everything has some nice color, we can add our wings in. They should have some pretty nice color on them at this point, but we're going to pan fry them now. Stir fry and mix them for a couple minutes before adding in 1 tablespoon of dark soy sauce, 2 tablespoons of oyster sauce, 1 teaspoon of sugar, 2 tablespoons of rice wine, 2 tablespoons of black pepper, and some MSG. I'm going to recommend making the sauce separately in a bowl so you can taste it first if you don't make this sauce too often. Cook until all the sauce thickens and coats the wings. Once all the sauce has coated the wings, you can start developing some nice charred parts. The caramelization of the garlic, ginger, onion, and sauce is what's really going to make these wings incredible. Once you're happy with the level of caramelization, garnish with the bias cut green onions and stir fry for 10 more seconds. And that's how you make my stir-fried chicken wings with black pepper sauce. It's strange that I've never seen black pepper sauce and chicken wings combined before since they're both very popular on their own. I'm a pretty big fan of chicken wings and I've tried tons of different styles but these are easily the best chicken wings I've ever made or tasted. Just look at them again. See all the caramelized garlic, ginger, onion, and sauce stuck to each wing? That's so much flavor. This recipe has the maximum amount of flavor you can put on to wings. They have a deep salty umami flavor from the sauce we made, as well as an incredible fragrance from all the garlic, ginger, and onion. Stir frying the wings gives them a natural sweetness from all the caramelization which really brings the flavors together. When prepared this way, the whole chicken wing tastes like the best parts that stick to the foil when you bake chicken, except now that flavor coats the entire wing. I hope you give this recipe a try because these are seriously the best chicken wings I've ever eaten. I also hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please click like and consider subscribing to my channel. I will be posting a food video every single day attempting to make it on YouTube. As always, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow for another recipe!